So within the pain management service at St George's, we're fortunate to be able to offer a few different elements of pain management. So we do comprehensive assessment with our patients, particularly looking at the impact that sickle cell and pain has on their life in terms of their movement, their activity, their socialising, ability to work and ability to live in the way that they'd like to. And from that assessment, we can work with people on an individual basis. So either in psychology or in physiotherapy or combining the two professions. And we help people to work towards the goals that they identify would increase their quality of life in the presence of their pain. We also have a more medical element of the service where we have a pain consultant who can offer medication changes or sometimes interventions alongside self-management. We have a weekly exercise and movement group that enables people to explore moving and exercising in the presence of their pain with other people who also live with sickle cell disease. And we have an eight week comprehensive pain management program that's based on pain management programs for general pain, but with adaptations to make it really relevant and specific to living with sickle cell pain. So pain management really comes from um, a cognitive behavioural therapy framework and what that means is that we work in a very um, collaborative way with the people that we work with. We um, utilise cognitive behavioural therapy which means that we think about the impact of pain in terms of someone's body, their physiology and their beliefs about their body but also their thoughts, their emotions, and then look at the impact of that on their behavior. So we're trying to really look at the whole person and think about the broad impact that pain has. And that enables us to make changes to lots of different areas of their life that hopefully improve quality of life in time. And we work really closely across professions. So physiotherapy and psychology work closely together, but also with the rest of the medical team, the patient obviously, and sometimes their family and the people that are important to them. So we're really looking forward to doing the Meet the Expert session later this afternoon because we hope it will be a really good opportunity to share some more information about the way we work, but also hear potentially about innovations that are happening with other trusts, hear about things that other people are doing, and to think together really with all the experts in the room about how we can be working to better help to manage people's pain in the presence of sickle cell.